Today I'm talking to Dr. Suzanne Capillari from Innsbruck Botanic Garden about a new project that they have been running called Plants, Science and Gardens throughout Europe. Suzanne, I'd like to, if you could first of all start by explaining what the aim of this project is. The aim is to improve science education at primary school level and to do that at the Botanic Garden so that Botanic Gardens and uh, primary schools work close, work close together mm -hmm. and um, in a way pool the resources to get science education, to improve their science education. And how did you know that there would be a need for this project? By doing education at our Botanic Garden, we realized that it would have been much better if the kids um, do a pre- and post-processing in school, so that coming to the Botanic Garden is not just a great and funny day out, but a crucial part of the primary uh, school curriculum. Yes, and one of, the, one of the things about the project is that you want to stimulate critical thinking among children. I mean, how, how do you um, plan to do this with the project? We have so many uh, different methods and uh, activities in the teaching program where the kids are always invited to argue, to, to uh, develop their critical thinking and these are always very um, easy going activities so that they really enjoy learning and improving these skills. And what, what do you mean by critical thinking? Critical thinking is something that the kids don't just get the information by people who just know it better, so they, they just try to develop their own ideas about the topic, their own way to uh, address a topic, their own way to, um, um, to answer the questions. We don't, we don't want them just to repeat the knowledge the teacher has, but to develop their own knowledge. And th could this help plant conservation in some way? Definitely it does. It, in, in, on, the worst, on the first place, it, uh, firstly, it, um, it, they will learn about plants in a very exciting and engaging way. And secondly, there's a whole topic out of these four topics is just addressing conservation, where they learn a lot about uh, rare, and uh, rare plants and about the problem, how plants get extinct. Mm. And how many teachers do you hope to reach through this project? Um, as many as possible, so we will start with a few and hope that they will just um, bring it to their schools, to their botanic gardens and to just enlarge the, the, the number of people who know about the project and um, yes, and in a way, do you have this, this the, the word snowball? Mm -hmm. So like a snowball. Multiplier effect. Yes, it's a to, to, uh, and use these teachers as multipliers for, for this uh, material. You're in the UK at the moment, um, running a series of workshops with your colleagues. Are you doing this in other countries as well? Yes, we are doing this in all the four participating countries. So we did several in Austria already. There, there was one in Bulgaria two weeks ago. There have been some in Italy. So in all the participating countries, these groups are now working with teachers and the education authorities just to get the, the material or just to, to, uh, to help them learn about the material and to introduce it in their uh, education system. And how, how um, can other botanic gardens in other parts of the world benefit from these resources? Uh, in many ways you can just download all the material directly from the internet. The, the website is called www.plantscafe.net and everything you need for, for the schools and as well as for the botanic garden teaching you can download and we just try to to uh, inform botanic gardens all over the world in congresses and meetings so that the material is available and that they can get it off the website. Well thank you very much Dr. Capillari and um, good luck with the project. Thank you very much too.